Welcome to in 5 minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand in general terms how to implement a circuit using pass transistor and transmission gates. Okay, let's get started. Don't get intimidated by all the columns and the divisions which you can see on the screen. It's a very straightforward thing which we need to study here. Okay, let's presume that we are using an NMOS transistor as a pass transistor. We have already seen that when NMOS and PMOS is used alone or is used individually, it's nothing but a pass transistor. So here we are going to make a circuit with NMOS as a pass transistor. It says that I want my output to be equal to A when my control is equal to 1. Now we know that an NMOS transistor turns on when a 1 is applied at its gate. 1 is nothing but a logic high. So this is very straightforward. This is nothing but draw an NMOS transistor, give its gate nothing but the control signal. This is nothing but your input A and this is your output Y. So this is nothing but when my control signal is equal to 1, this will be a closed switch and my A input will propagate to the output or pass to the output so my Y is equal to A. So it's nothing but a very straightforward problem of just drawing an NMOS transistor and giving its input which is nothing but the gate terminal, the signal which is nothing but the control signal. Now let's go below this table. It says that using the same NMOS pass transistor, I want my output to be equal to A when my control is equal to 0. If my control is equal to 0 and I want my output to be A using an NMOS transistor, we know that an NMOS transistor would not turn on till a logic 1 is applied at its gate. So here is a trick. Let's draw an NMOS. If we give its gate terminal control signal, then what will happen is when control is equal to 1, this input A will propagate to the output. So here we will not give the gate terminal as control, we'll give the gate terminal as equal to control bar. So when control is equal to 0, my control bar will be equal to 1. And when my control bar is equal to 1, my A will propagate to the output. That means my Y is equal to A. The only thing which we need to understand is I'm getting Y equal to A when my control bar is equal to 1 or in other words when my control is equal to 0. So this is how we implement any expression or any circuit using NMOS pass transistors if you remember this thumb rule. Let's quickly do the similar exercise for PMOS transistors. Here it says that in PMOS pass transistor, I mount my output Y equal to A when my control is equal to 1. And here it says that I want my output Y equal to A using PMOS pass transistor when my control is equal to 0. The thing which we need to remember is a PMOS transistor turns on when a 0 is applied at its gate. So very very straightforward, we'll first do the easier one. So this is my PMOS transistor, this is my gate terminal. Let's call this signal S control signal given to the gate terminal. So when my control is equal to 0, this acts like a closed switch and if I presume that this side of the terminal is input A and this is S output Y, then when my control is 0 and PMOS is on or it acts like a closed switch, my A will pass to the output Y and that is nothing but my Y is equal to A. Very straightforward. So we got the output equal to A when my control was equal to 0. Now using the same PMOS transistor, we want my output equal to A when my control is equal to 1. Let's first draw the PMOS transistor. Let's call this as input A, this as output Y. Now here, if I give this gate as control, when my control is equal to 1, my transistor would be off and Y will not have any value. However, we want y equal to a when control is equal to 1. So what we do is we give its gate terminal nothing but a control bar. If control is equal to 1, then control bar is equal to 0. If control bar is equal to 0, that means the PMOS transistor gate is given a value 0. That means this PMOS transistor is on and a goes to the output. So y is equal to a. What we need to remember is in simple language for an NMOS transistor, the gate voltage required to turn it on is a logic value high, whereas a PMOS transistor needs a logic value zero. So this case, gate one and gate zero for NMOS and PMOS are very straightforward cases because that's how the transistor NMOS and PMOS turns on. However, 
when you want to use your NMOS and you want to pass something at the output when your control signal is zero, ensure that you invert that signal, control signal and give it to the gate. Similarly for PMOS as well, very, very straightforward and we'll see a few examples which will make this further